Hi guys, I wanted to say hi to you in person this week, kind of in person, right, in a video, because we've got a big week ahead of us. So you have two assignments this week, your vocab test and your embedded assessment. These together are worth 65 points. That's a ton of points. So if you don't do these, your grade's gonna plummet. But if you do them, your grade's gonna be really strong. So first thing, um, is your vocab test. So in order to do this vocab test, you're going to go to submit assignments. And in submit assignments, you're going to see a link down at the bottom for the vocab three test. So you click on unit three right here. And then you will see, you'll see the pretest. Don't do that. You don't want to do the pretest. Make sure you scroll down and do the actual unit three vocabulary test. All right. If you need to review the words, you can find those in coursework. So if you go to coursework and then you go to unit three, you will see yours probably will come up sooner than mine because I have to scroll through a bunch of stuff, but you will see vocab. I believe it says three B words that you can download unit 3B vocabulary. So right here, you will see unit 3B vocabulary and you can click here to download the words. So download those words, study them, and then take that test. It's worth 25 points, so make sure you get that in on Monday, all right? Your next big, big thing is your first embedded assessment of the semester. These are worth 40 points, so they're a big deal make sure you get this in on time. Otherwise your grade is going to plummet for your progress report on Friday. So I don't want to, I don't want to do that because it'll likely drop your grade a bunch if you don't have it in. So here's what you're going to do. We've read things fall apart. You you're finished with the book. Um, and your job is to write an analytical essay about how a, about a character's response to the Western ideas and civilization coming in. So it, the easiest one to do is Okonkwo because he's our protagonist, our main character, right? And we saw this through his eyes mostly. Um, so think about how the Western culture, how the missionaries coming in really hurt him, right? His culture has been totally challenged. The things that he has held value um, held on to with such value. His whole life has been shaken, right? And he really struggled. He really, really struggled with it. So think of three ways he struggled with it. And those three ways can be your body paragraphs. Obviously, in the end, he kills himself. So that would be my third body paragraph, because that's kind of the culmination of everything of Okonkwo. Just really, he feels like his culture is dying and he can't even live anymore because it's impacted him in such a difficult way. Um, so I've got a little format here you can follow. You don't have to, but I know writing isn't necessarily everybody's strong suit. So hopefully this little format here will kind of help you. It can be a traditional five paragraph essay, like I said. In your intro paragraph, talk about culture. Talk about the importance of culture and how culture is so embedded in who we are as individuals. It's 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 who we it's part of who we are. We can't just like take a piece of our culture away easily. Um, so talk about the importance of culture and then narrow that down into your thesis where you talk about how the new Western ideas and culture brought into the Igbo society really impacted Okonkwo. He really had a hard time with it. List those three reasons or three instances or examples of how he had a hard time with it. Then each of those three examples can become an, a separate body paragraph. So think about one way that new culture really rubbed him the wrong way, really, really hurt him. Um, and talk about that in your first body paragraph. Make sure you're using text details, all right? So pull something out of the book where that proves Okonkwo was struggling, that proves this was just like such a clash between the Western ideas and his culture. Um, and, and write that in there, drop that those quotes in there and cite them with your MLA formatting. Then in your commentary, explain how this shaped him, how this hurt him, how this impacted him, um, and then do that for your other two body paragraphs as well. All right, so your three body paragraphs should each be a different way in which Okonkwo struggled with the culture. Or you could do another character too, it just says a character. I'm just saying Okonkwo because he'd be the easiest. Um, in your conclusion paragraph, this is where you wrap up your thoughts. This is where you wrap up kind of like what you learned in watching Okonkwo struggle with these new ideas 
um, brought in by the by the missionaries, the European missionaries. So wrap up kind of what you saw happen and how you feel about it in your conclusion paragraph. I'm really excited to, to hear what you guys have to say about what you saw in this book. So like I said, this is worth a ton of points. So make sure you reach out to me if you're struggling, even if the struggle is, I don't know um, if I'm going to be able to get this done on Thursday. Can you, can I turn it in Friday morning? And if you let me know it's going to be in Friday morning, I can get it on your progress report. So communication is always a big deal. So make sure you're communicating with me if you're struggling. All right. So um, good luck this week. Make sure you get both of those assignments in and we'll start a new unit next week. All right. Take care, guys.